Hi guys, this is Shumon from ASC Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to make a USB bootable flash drive to flash the system BIOS. Sometimes we are facing such a problem like black screen after BIOS flash, after BIOS update or black screen after power interruption due to BIOS corruption. And we know if it's our device then it becomes a huge problem for us. In some cases, most people just send their device to the manufacturer service center and if you are not an expert and if you don't know how to fix it, then it's really costly to you because it's a very serious problem. And one more important thing, black screen means not only the BIOS problem, black screen may be caused by various problems. You can check out here to see our tutorial to identify the possible reasons behind the black screen problem. However, before starting this procedure, please listen very carefully. We have tried two NOS methods before, but they did not work for this ESR model. But finally, we got success, which I am going to share it here. But note, the step by step that I will show you here specially is given for some specific products. So if needed, I will recommend you collect more information about your product from your device manufacturer to flash the system BIOS. And please note very carefully, an incorrect BIOS flashing may cause serious damage to your device. So please perform this repair at your own risk. So let's get started. At first download the BIOS firmware file from the manufacturer website according to your product model. Make sure you download the correct BIOS for your specific product and please don't download the BIOS firmware file from another unofficial website. This device category is notebook series Asper and model E5571CTYS and also you can search by using your device SNID and serial number. Next, you need to download Hex Editor and WinRAR. I have already installed, so I am not doing it again. Now, you will need a USB flash drive. The flash drive must be at least 4GB of capacity and must be empty and flash drive file system format must be FAT32. But unfortunately, Windows Disk Management doesn't allow you to format in FAT32 file system. So now just follow me exactly to formatting your USB flash drive in FAT32 file system. At first, open the command prompt as administrator. Now type the command disk part and press enter. Next type list disk and press enter. Next type cell disk and your USB disk number then press enter. Now type clean and hit enter. Next type convert MBR and press enter. Next type create part PRI and hit enter to create a primary partition. Next type cell part 1 and press enter to select your recently created partition. Now only use this command if you are using a high capacity USB drive. Here I am using a 64GB USB drive and this drive is too large for FAT32 partition. So now I will be shrinking some unlocated space from the draw partition that we have recently created. So I type 
shrink desire equals to I want to shrink 50 GB so let me calculate 50 GB in MB format okay 50 GB is equals to 51200 MB I type this MB format and hit enter all right as you can see our unlocated space is now separated and I will be formatting this 7.30 GB raw partition in the FET32 file system. Now just follow me. Type the command format fs equals to FET32 quick and press enter. Alright, this raw partition successfully formatted in FET32 file system. Now type the final command active and then hit enter. It means you are preparing this drive as bootable device. Ok, now our bootable USB flash drive is ready. Now exit from the command prompt. Next open the BIOS file with WinRAR. Now select this executable file and click on view. Now look for the .fd or .bin file. Ok, in my case the file name is bdw.fd. Now I just extract this file to the desktop. Now open the hex editor. And then open the .ft file. After that go to search and then find. Now search for .ft file. Now select Unicode under text encoding and click on OK. After that you will get a decoded text. Now just copy this. Now rename this .fd file with the decoded text that you have copied and remove all the symbols. Now copy this .fd file to your bootable USB flash drive that you have created. Alright, now your bootable USB flash drive is completely ready to flash the system BIOS. The flashing process is a bit time consuming and you will need to perform this process with precaution. So I will be finishing this video here. Please see our next tutorial. There is a complete guide on how to flash BIOS. The tutorial link in the description below. So hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any questions, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.